won. Yeah. He had defeated the machine, unshelled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Come on. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand. I don't realize how slow this door was. Come on! No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever Come life on. he lives, it will be his. <laughs> That was all he needed to know. <laughs> Kick the door. It was to perhaps <laughs> the only thing. I actually started pressing spacebar like. Stanley on. stepped through the open door. Yeah, it. There we go. Cutscene. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, <laughs> the feeling of liberation, <laughs> the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Oh, come on. That must have been it. That must have been fast enough. Must have been. Hmm. Oh, by the way, I think this is an achievement. If I go to extras, achievement. Save. What? <laughs> I get <laughs> I get an achievement for switching the achievement. <laughs> I get an achievement for doing the achievement. <sighs> oh, that's so good. <sighs> Okay, let's um. All of his co-workers were gone. Let's what could go it mean? see the nuclear kind of ending again. decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Ah, oh, right. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Hope coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay. Here's the door, just go. <laughs> it's like straight. Oh, that's so good. I want to go to the the room again and mess around with the buttons and the mind control facility. Yeah, we spider a streaming layer. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Honestly. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen 
and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. <clears throat> this mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? That's a real Steam game. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. So. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. I'm kind of curious, right? About this. I'm trying to work out if this these buttons do anything to that door, or did that door open up just because I did the other ending? I'm curious. I'm trying to work out if that means something. The fact that it does that. Let's go up to four. What do you guys think? What do you guys think right now about this? I have five buttons all numbered. Yeah, there's numbers on the wall that said 0142, 001, and 0521, but I don't have a zero button, so that doesn't work. The sign that said escape takes me to death. Five consoles with buttons. I don't need the eight button. Stanley's office number is 427. No, they could really. They could put numbers on the wall for no reason if they wanted to. So, I think that, yeah, I'm going to try that. I'm going to turn on the mic control. Try 1225. Why 1225? Explain why 1225. Don't just put random numbers in. Oh, that could be a good one. Okay, I like that one. Five. I'll go backwards. I like that one. That's 
that still doesn't make sense. Like, why would it be an addition? Like, I'm just trying everything, guys. I know it's... I'm going to try the power in a second. Here we go. I'm just trying all of people's ideas. And when at last he found the source of the room's power... Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Hmm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's the desires. Red bonnet, says. Oh, this is much better oh, than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. What all this means, I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated? All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell yeah. you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine, I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you oh, try to make one. sense of everything and take back the control wrested away Three. from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stan. Yeah. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where feet you're feet going too. or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you say that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? But you really believe there's an answer? How many times will you replay this bit, looking desperately for a solution? Ten? A hundred? A thousand? I look forward to finding out and to watching the bomb go off each time you play. Just you and me and the wretching explosion of fire and metal over and over and over for all of eternity. And Stanley died again. And Stanley died again. And Stanley died again. What? Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. 
no ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. They will be back desperately to your frail life. Hmm. Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever up. Hmm. I'm interested. I honestly don't know. Hmm. Hmm. The boss's code was two four eight five. Really intrigued. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room to check on his co workers. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others, so the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. When Stanley came to a set of two open yeah. doors, he entered the door on his left. It says 0521 on the wall, there is no zero button. So... Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an aunt. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Why do I go downstairs again? That ended in a weird... Oh. Here's the door, just go. Find the zero button. Does this game end? I've done the ending already. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control oh. Facility. Stanley's office number is 427. I don't have a 7. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? It's not to confuse you because the first time I played it, the door was open and I heard it shut. So. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control? Oh, that's a game you can beat, because look. Beat the game. Yeah, there's an achievement for beating the game. Time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, it's not no. the same voice for Thomas. Was he over. refused to believe it. He couldn't accept I'm never it. playing His own life in someone Screw else's that. control. Never. I tried to play it. It was unthinkable. It's Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human okay. life. I'll try for he I'll try would dismantle the controls once and for all. I'm going to try what they said. Turn it on, then try and switch it off. Oh, Stanley. 
You didn't just activate oh. the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved See, all these years, sure. you go and you try to take control of the yeah. machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley. I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that so machine five, can two, do. One. You were supposed to let it go. Turn the controls off and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than oh, that. Any with I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For oh, example, right and I there. believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers hmm. are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die oh, anyway. What? I'll uh, tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. Mother! I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go-around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't yeah, I'm starting to think it as a troll. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? But do you really believe there's an answer? How many times will you replay this bit, looking desperately for a solution? Ten? A hundred? A thousand? I look forward to finding out and to watching the bomb go off each time you fail. Just you and me and the wretched explosion of fire and metal over and over and over for all of eternity. And Stanley died again. And Stanley died again. And Stanley died again. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever up. Okay. Hmm. Right, I'm going to try one more speed run, and then I'm going to call on night because I need to get off before Spider gets on, so I get a chance to have a little break. <sighs> I'm starting to think there is. Oh, <laughs> I'm starting to think there isn't a solution. Right. Go for a All speed of run. his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo.
When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yeah, I've seen colored numbers as well. But I've only seen three numbers. Yet there was not a single Didn't person an here either. either so. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Here's the door, just go. Forty-five to your and five and two together to get seven. Uh, I see where you're going with that, but like. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? All right, am I not tired? I'm just, yeah, well, I'm not tired of it, but I'm gonna... Now the monitors oh. jumped to life, Off their anyway, true so. nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. When's Stanley's the spider getting up? I don't know. Normally the about. lives of so Normally many individuals about. reduced to images on a screen. Ten minutes. Stanley, <laughs> one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control. Yeah, but the first of one, it shows you it press too the red one. To believe it couldn't be true. That doesn't always show. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. All right. Okay. He refused I see where you're to believe that. it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's mm. control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life up to the doing line the anyway, to the so world? We're just going. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machine. What did I miss? And a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? He had defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Oh, doesn't look like I got it. One hell.
Ah, oh, right, so there's a... Okay. Right, so you guys... Right, I'll go down. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting. Wait, did I switch the... Achievements off? Achievement enabled. <laughs> Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, right, so Stanley tell me where you want me to look. Up to his boss's office on the platform. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked up to his boss's office. Tell me where you want to look in the platform. Here's the door. Just go. Or go down. Tell me where you want me to look. Right after you get off the platform. Are you talking about the elevator? All the way up? Or this? Okay, elevator all the way up. Okay. Okay, I'll have a look. I mean, the only thing I've seen so far was this. Nay. Stanley walked Nine straight one. ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? The mods are around. They may not be talking, but they're always here. Now the Including mods jump to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals yeah. reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place okay. where freedom meant nothing. So up here. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this yeah. time? I'll was try this the by 42 one again. happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was Never. unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Okay, so I'm here. But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. I'll try the five, four, three, two, one, and then I'm gone. Or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working. Oh, the name for one. Yes. And commanded yeah, from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert it. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try yeah, to I take know, control escape, of the machine for yourself. Is that what you Don't wanted? You control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, 
nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. And How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things feel like a the door's more open. fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. That's you are deep. the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, oh this is much better I'll than what I had in mind. Part. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what oh. precious moments each I... one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're going to die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, Two. I let the office sink into One. the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Yeah. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take so back the control rested away from blue. you, it's quite rich. So. I almost hate to see it go. Three. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go-around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stan. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where I you're going like or what something. you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. Yeah, I'm starting to think this is just buttons. a pure stroll. No, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? But do you really believe there's an answer? How many times will you replay this bit, looking desperately for a solution? Ten? A hundred? A thousand? I look forward to finding out and to watching the bomb go off each time you fail. Just you and me and the wretching explosion of fire and metal over and over and over for all of eternity. All this boss bar. And yeah, Stanley I'm surprised. died again. And Stanley died again. Yeah. And Stanley died again. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No end. <sighs> yeah, I'm Just guessing you're not supposed to win. It's more fun. Will you cling desperately that was to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count. Or don't. Where we go? Oh. To me. All oh, excuse me. I need to get and off. Believe me, I need to get I off. Be laughing at every Deal with some things and uh, from the moment we fade in, then I'll be back. The Spider. Say, Where are we else we're doing tonight? Hmm. This game has me intrigued. I am really intrigued. This was awesome. I'm really very happy about I picked this game up today. Very happy. The game is now paused. Yeah. I still think the answer is fair. I agree. I think the answer is fair. But yeah, this is going to be interesting. I'm interested. I, I know I'm going to speak to Spider about it. Don't worry. But yeah. But anyway, I'm going. I shall be back. When Spider's back, we shall see what. I'm not going to tell you what we're playing. We have an idea. Not really. We're. Me and Spider need to have a talk before we start. But yeah, there's something going on, so. <sighs> Goodbye.